Well, hello there. Welcome to the Lithuania project, or whatever I decide to call this. Um, it's basically just a normal FM database, but it's uh, Lithuania. And so the idea is we go through Lithuania and see if we can get them to the top of as far as we can go with them until probably FM 21 comes out or whenever the series just kind of generally loses interest. I've always loved these types of um, saves where people simulate and you get few seasons in but I'm not going to try and introduce it too much because I know that gets kind of boring. That being said while you're still here if you enjoy this type of stuff that's kind of what I'm going to be posting here but if you want to see more action-packed stuff things like FIFA saves and more things like that go check out my twitch it will be in the description of this video. All right now that I've plugged all the way out we can go to um, any team go to the little editor thing here and as you'll see the facilities are all 2020 2029 um, just to make sure that everything is good and all the teams in the top flight uh, are professional teams all the teams in this league are um, at least semi-professional and I did not edit any of these teams now there are a lot of b teams and i don't know if they can get promoted i can't remember um as far as that goes i i would assume there's a rule for no b teams um but yeah i mean i could probably see it but i i didn't see anything specifically um but it probably means that it most likely i would assume that's how it works also if anyone knows how i can because obviously eight eight teams in the league is not great if anyone knows how i can potentially expand this in the future or if the game will expand it as we climb uh, up in our continental reputation that would be really nice so a little bit of history for lithuania just so you can see um just what's going on here in lithuania um a lot of these teams don't exist interestingly enough um and of the teams that are it looks pretty much like the top teams are za uh and i I'm very sorry for butchering all these names, but it's Zalgiris and Seduva. And also going back, uh, Riteri, Riteri, I don't know. Um, I'd say Atlantis, but they are semi-pro, so I, I don't actually know if they're any good or not. Um, but we will see. I haven't changed financially anything to these teams. Uh, all their finances are pretty much the same as they were. Uh, the only thing that has actually changed is their um, what what's going to happen. So let's just take a look uh, at Lithuania as a nation in general. So for those of you who don't follow Lithuanian football, and I, I don't mind you. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really, um, at you or out you if you if you didn't. Their best player is this guy Lucas Spalvis, who is part of the German third division with Kaiserslautern. So, um, the as far as as quality goes in Lithuania. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, this guy, I don't know where, what, got, playing in Israel, but he's 33. He's the keeper. So our best players are keeper and, um, <laughs> and, uh, and a striker. So, I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. 
um, by any means. Anyway, uh, I think it's probably a good idea that we should also actually take a look uh, at as far as this as competition reputation. So we are all the way down in 79th. We are a, well, it says average, but we're worse than the Italian city C. And if we go to uh, nation coefficients, we are 41st. We are, are above, you know, Latvia, Luxembourg, all these teams. Um, so we're not at the bottom. But we're not really anywhere. Uh, we're quite a ways off even from Bosnia and Iceland and Finland. So, um, and as far as coefficient, I mean... Yeah, it's not looking too great for us over the last five years. Now, you will notice as well that um, 1920 isn't loaded, and those who are really good at looking, you'll have seen it says uh, 31st December 2018, because that's, for some reason, when this database starts. And I don't understand it, other than the fact that the League, because there's, I think because it's Lithuania, the League doesn't really start until March of 2019 and then uh, ends in November of 2019. So it's a full year. It's it's kind of weird. Um, but it probably means that some of the players will be potentially quite good uh, or fresh for the competitions. Now we have one team Whoever finishes top will go into the first qualifying round of the um, Champions League. They then have to go through um, like six different games, is that? Yeah, six, they have six games, 12 games really, um, to get to the group stage. We need to basically get up to about where Switzerland is before there's a real change in that. So that is pretty fun. Actually, if we go to, where are we? There we are. Just go to the A-League again. So this is the best team. Hot prospect is this guy, um, who at least is there right now. And I can't really see him, but we can also just quickly check here not terrible um not a bad player um overall but i wouldn't say uh i wouldn't say amazing um i'm gonna go ahead and load up season one so you can see what's happened and we'll go from there all right so this is the correct stopping point definitely didn't stop it earlier thinking oh yeah this is fine uh just stop it in the middle of the league um very interesting actually what has happened so seduva did not do very well um it was zalgiris that took the title which is quite interesting two teams that i I think, I know Atalantis was one that I'd expected would probably go down just because they didn't have a lot of money. Um, I think they were the other team that didn't have a lot of money. Let's take a look here. So they do have a player. So this is a center back in Dominkas Lucas. I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, this is the hot prospect apparently. 132 potential ability i would say that's probably good enough for the championship so i would say that's pretty good he's actually played a few games he's gotten himself a yellow though 85 percent tackles one from three appearances is not bad for a 16 year old if we go and just take a look at the b team don't know if we can because i don't think i have age as one of these selected things we'll just go to the under 19 squad and take a quick look at some of these guys so um 
Sa uh, Saruna Saluta. Um, I'll probably, let's see if I can, I'll insert a column for, where is it? Um, I can, potential, there we go. Potentials, potentials un, unknown. Uh, b -b -b hidden potential, right? I can show that, surely. Um, potential ability, there we go. So if we look here for potential ability, so Burba over here looks really good. We've got Sluta and his brother Sluta over here. So these, you know, players that look pretty decent go to the senior squad and we look at potential. So this guy who's a Romanian, uh, interestingly enough, uh, Liviu Antal, but David Ngog, well, yeah, I think a couple people know who he is. Um, interesting that he's there, though. I'm trying to see who's the highest regen in the team, though. Uh, they've got a few players in on loan, and seems to be... Where are the region? I guess they don't have any regions really in the starting lineup. Though they did have that one guy that was looking pretty solid. So that's Zalgiris. Just go to the. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Go to senior squad. Go to the A League. Um, we'll look. Take a look here. So they've got this guy, who is a striker, mind you. Let's take a look at him. 150. That's pretty solid. Um, four appearances, five goals. Uh, but is that for non competitive? So that's not for really. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look at the senior squad. They've got a couple players. Let's see. I, I should. I should. Instead of this, I'll replace this with, uh, can I replace this with age? Probably should have done this before, but yeah, we'll do age. Okay, so we got a 17 year old here, but he's real player. So they're probably just the sick, who's the youngest player in the squad? It's that guy. Um, so this guy looks pretty decent, even though he's only in on loan. All right. So that's interesting, just to kind of look at. Saduva did well, um, but they actually, their hot prospect is not someone in their under-19s, despite everything. So I guess this would be their, their player that they got through. Um, not even going to try and pronounce that, but he actually has been playing in the lower leagues, interestingly enough. Doesn't look to be that great of a player, though. Anyway, looking at this league, so those are the two teams going down. And the teams coming up, uh, I guess this league hasn't quite finished. I'll try and figure out when all these leagues finish so we have it. But uh, Janava have gone up, and it looks like it's going to be one of these two teams because I don't see a B team going up. So that'll be quite interesting. I would assume these leagues are over. Um if not mostly over, but two B teams going up. What a surprise. Um, ooh, so Super Cup was won by Zalgris, and the Lithuanian Cup was won by uh, Kauno Zalgris, who finished in third. So we'll take a look at them. They've got this guy. Who Andrios are, are are I don't I don't know how to pronounce names. Um, he's in their B time B time B team, 
and he's got 160 potential. So that's actually quite quite good. Um, so let's just take, let's go up here and just go to the profile then. Obviously, so the leak hasn't changed um, position, but we will take a look here. So see if any of the players that we looked at are coming through. But actually, so they've gone as high now as 120th in the league, which is actually quite interesting. They've now at 125. Take a look at their... Let's see what their schedule was. So they, from the start of this, they actually beat Luxembourg, uh, barely lost to Serbia, lost to Ukraine, drew a friendly with Hungary, which is actually quite good. Um, didn't get smashed up by Portugal, beat Luxembourg, and just haven't been smashed by teams. Uh, beat and but drawing against Gibraltar is not a good result. So that's not too bad. If we take a look, so interestingly, so these two teams have now gone up in their reputation. It's kind of interesting to look at some of these reputation things. Um, all right, Lithuania. Um, I think we need to look at the club coefficient. So let's try, we'll go here. We'll take a look at the, well, let's take a look at coefficients and then we'll take a look at a few other things. So here is Lithuania. Um, not as good as last season, though, as far as coefficients are. Um, however, they're not closer now to Bosnia um, than they were. So let's take a look. And also, someone wants to explain, because if I'm misunderstanding how the coefficients work, if someone wants to just tell me why I'm being stupid, uh, definitely go ahead and do that. Because I don't think we've gone into new leagues, we're not going to have any of this kind of going up and down yet. So, sorry about that. Uh, let's then take a look at... Well, we, we can always take a look at nation rankings, but it's not going to do too much. So let's take a look at the Champions League, uh, just so we can kind of see it. Um, it, interestingly enough, is exactly how you expected it to be. Um, I'm assuming that was kind of scripted. Not sure. Now, obviously, so I don't see any of our teams in, um, but we're going to take a look from the first preliminary round. So this is the um, preliminary round. This is the round that has uh, none of our guys in it. So it's the second prelimin, no, not second. First qualifying round maybe is where our guys were. Uh, trying to see if Seduva Beating Dudelange. So Seduva, if we actually take a look at their... Well, yeah, because they were the only ones. So if we take a look at their... And go all the way up here. No, it's right down here. They made a significant little run uh, into qualifying. So they they beat Dudelange actually away, which is quite good. Losing then to Apoel, not too surprising. They then beat Riga, who I believe that's Latvia, I think. So they got a bit of an easy round. But then they got um, Astana, which is pretty difficult. Um, that's the fourth qualifying round. One more. If they won that, they, they would have been in the group stages. So they were very close to being in uh, the group stages. Let's just check and see any other uh, Latvian teams were in there. Or not Latvian, Lithuanian teams. It doesn't look like that. So if we go then to... Oh yeah, so here's all those. 
Um, just keep going. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find too much in here. But, uh, Zal Greece, they actually, we should probably take a look at them because they've done quite well too. They got all the way to Euro best qualifying round, only losing to Radniki from Serbia. So teams have done quite all right, interestingly enough. Um, a couple of young players as well. Interesting. Um, as soon as season starts to turn over, so I would assume. So I think for the next ones, we'll just continue to do December thirty first is when we're gonna look at it all. Um, it looks kind of interesting. Hopefully, we'll see that the Lithuanian league will rise by the next episode. Um, so. That is pretty cool. I'll probably do two back-to-back -back episodes just so for the excitement of it. Um, so I guess if you're still here, if this video gets five likes, I will go ahead and release the second episode uh, whenever it hits it, pretty much. Or if it doesn't hit it, then I'll just do it whenever, probably like the next day or something or the next two days. Um but that's just an incentive for you guys. If you enjoyed, you want to tell me more things about what I need to do better, uh, make sure you leave that all in the comment section below. And if there's anything I can do to make this league a little bit bigger or change the rules or if it'll do it automatically, make sure you go and let me know about that as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.